everyone and welcome to Istanbul. You probably already know a lot about this incredible city that used to be the center of the world. But apart from the typical tourist destinations such as Blue Mosque, Grand Bazaar and Taxi Square, there are so many other awesome places that you should see during your stay. So keep on watching this video to find out what are the coolest places in Istanbul that you didn't know about. secret places in Istanbul is this historical railway station here in Eminönü. It is a living museum and so important for anyone interested in the Orient Express. This used to be the final stop of the famous train where all the rich men of the West would end their journey. The Orient Express was an expensive and prestigious ride and its final stop is nothing less. It is the station of Marmaray and uh, if you want to know more about the railway history uh, of Istanbul, there is this museum over there. And if you take a 10 minute walk from the big main Hagia Sophia, you will find something that you maybe didn't know about, which is small Hagia Sophia. Actually, the mosque that resembles it very much. And that's why it's called small Hagia Sophia. It was built in the same architectural period and it was also first made as a church and then later converted to mosque. Something that Hagia Sophia experienced uh, already one time in the history and now recently uh, when it was turned uh, into a mosque back from the museum. The interior of this mosque uh, has changed uh, but still there are some remaining inside uh, like the floor, the walls and the columns that uh, remind of the Byzantine period. So you probably know about the biggest underground water cistern in Istanbul uh, but did you know that there is a second one over there uh, almost as equally impressive but better in a way that there's not so many people not so many tourists so you can enjoy it more This is the Bin Birgdirek cistern In Turkish this means 1001 column well, actually, it doesn't have so many, but Turks like to be dramatic. It has around 240 something. So as you can see, this place is pretty cool. So often they organize uh, events here, fashion shows, uh, concerts and other cool stuff. So most of you surely know about Grand Bazaar, but uh, Grand Bazaar has some secrets and some secret places and we are currently exploring one of them. We are now in Zinjili Han, which is like really a secret place because we had to ask people how to get here. So in the past, the bazaars were uh, organized in different departments, let's say, uh, depending on the goods that they were selling. So these hans uh, were kind of a place for merchants to rest, talk up, eat, drink and you know, other things. If you come here, not only you will uh, run away from the crowd with a couple of attractions, but also you will get an insight into Turkish culture and see how it was before. Sakin, tatlı, eski ve tarihi. Evet, anlayışlı. popular neighborhood among tourists is Bomonti Kurtuluş area here on the European side of Istanbul. Actually the place started to bloom after the Bomontiada complex uh, came to light. So Bomontiada where we are now uh, is actually a former factory of Bomonti beer so it's by default a cool place that's been turned into even cooler place with the uh, artistic happenings inside and cool bars around. But what's also interesting about this neighborhood it does is that it has a lot of Greek and Armenian heritage somewhere. 
Uh, and also on on the weekends, uh, there is uh, Antique and Flea Bazaar uh, here close by. Uh, so we will go and check it out. <laughs> Have all of them. And what would you do with all of them? Just look at them, you know. <laughs> so, can you tell us something short about backgammon? No. No, I'm not sure. Why? So, now we are in neighborhood behind you. Even though Jahangir district is not so offbeat, it's definitely worth putting on our list because of cool cafes, art galleries, antique shops and museums. And speaking of museums, now we're gonna go and check out the Museum of Innocence here in the neighborhood. Uh, it was founded by Turkish writer Orhan Pamuk. Uh, in 2014, it was pronounced the best museum and it's actually based on the book of Pamuk uh, of the same name. from this video. Did you like my pick of the coolest places in Istanbul? What would you add on the list? Let me know in the comments. Sending you kisses from the center of the world, Istanbul.